Hello. Uh, Tina again. <laughs> you will only see Tina in this channel. <laughs> only me. Um, so the next step is uh, request object. And uh, I'm trying to separate it into uh, two videos. One is design, the other one is implementation. So it won't be that long, okay? And um, first, I want to show you the actual serverlet API about the request and request object. Why is it being used, okay? And let's go back to ID here. And uh, let's open one uh, project, which is the first serverlet project we actually created. So this is the actual serverlet we created uh, this morning. I did something. Let me, uh, let me da, da, roll back file, roll back file. Roll back, roll back, roll back. Okay, yo, this one. Roll back. Sorry for this, okay. This is the Serverlet uh, project. And let's take a look at this Serverlet. So when we uh, override do get and do post, which is implemented our logic, here will give us HTTP request and HTTP response object. One is request and one is response, okay? And we can also go inside, go in here, HTTP servlet. Who is actually called do get and do post is actually a method called the service. <clears throat> here, service method have a request and a response. And here you can see, if the method, which is the request method, is a get, then it will call do get, okay? And uh, this one is uh, for uh, 304, okay? It still will call do get if something, if it modified the file, okay? And uh, if it's a do post, it will call do post, you can see? So in our uh, code, let me switch back to our code, okay? Code simple container. So far in our servlet, HTTP servlet, our uh, interface, okay, here we leave nothing now. So the current step is to actually have a request, 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 and later on we will also add a response, response, response here. That's the idea, okay? And uh, in order, uh, let's go back to the previous one. Also, see what kind of things would be in the request. Okay, we won't do everything in the request. Just to do most of them, like uh, this one, get method, right? It's a get method or it's a post method. The later one, we are trying to do a similar similar thing. Like it's if it's get, we will call do get, and if it's a post, uh, here we will do post in our implementation. And uh, several other things so we can take a look at, uh, like a uh, cooking now. I don't want to do this one, okay? Probably get a headers, okay? Uh, and there's another one. Uh, you can also implement get a query strings. I will show you what is query string is. And the request URL or some others, okay? Like uh, uh, what others? Get a parts, I don't know what, what this one, okay? Um, get a session, uh, get a servlet path, get a request URL, uh, get a context path, all the things, get a method, uh, get a servlet mapping, or others, okay. This is uh, what is uh, the API given to us, but uh, for me, because I implement that, right? So I can design. So let's design our request object. Uh, I will use another one, how about that one? New, okay, let me, uh, I forgot to actually create this one. Request object. <coughs> um, what I trying to talk here is, uh, 
It's like this, okay? In our request object, what kind of name you want to use? Uh, the name in Servlet API is called the uh, HAP Servlet Request. We can use the same. Let's to be simple. That's called request object, okay? And in our request object, uh, we definitely need to have a method. Let me make it thinner, okay? We definitely need to have a method which is a hold the value if it's a gate and a post. And that's another one we can do is to uh, uh, have something called uh, <coughs> uh, request prime. This one is what? Let me explain the HTTP request, which is from the pro protocol level, okay? Which is a protocol level, okay? And uh, in HTTP request, the first line gonna be like this. It's a gate or post, like a slash, like a hello in our example. And this URL can be hello or can be like this, which has a query string. Like uh, suppose is username is a Tina and the password is uh, one two three. Like uh, then after that it will have the version. Let me check my recording. Everything is fine. Okay. Okay. You just still can see. Then after that it will have HTTP. Then the version one point one or two. Okay. And uh, this is the first line. Okay, the, this is the first line. After that, you will have the headers. What are the headers? Like a host. It uh, we we are requesting w w. Uh, let, let, let me using our example, like HTTP localhost, like eighty eighty. Okay, you will have accept. Except normally is the browser uh, have the default value. If each the browser will have their default values, so normally we don't trust this. Okay, and uh, they will have a connection or others. Okay, other headers like this, and this is uh, for a get request, but uh, for a post request, uh, post request have a body, which means uh, suppose here, here is a post. Okay, the method here is a post. Post after all the headers. This is a header. There's a line breaker. There's a line which is a blank, a blank line, a line. Okay, and then here we have a body which is a post body. What are the post body? Suppose we have a form, like this is username, and then here is a password. This is a form and here have a submit button. Okay, when we click submit, this information will send to send along with the request, right? Then here we have the thing, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the body, post the body gonna be something like this, like a user gonna be equals Tina uh, or call missing and uh, then end the PWD equals uh, one, two, three, four, based on the value you typed here. So this is a request, okay? And in our request object, we need to, uh, we just do basic handling for this, okay? So here, for the request prom, uh, I was just trying to keep the things simple. The request prom will hold two kinds of values uh, in my plan. You can separate, but based on your what? The first one is a query string. The second one is the body. I will do uh, put them all of them in the request prime. And this is also uh, the same way implemented in servlet. No matter you are passing uh, values from client to server side using the query string. This part is called the query string. And it's not a secure, and it has a, a, a limit, length limit, okay? And, and this part is a payload of uh, the post, okay? 
only post has get method that they have and we will have other videos to explain more about real HTTP methods later on. So here for the request prompt, the query string and the body information, all of them I want to carry using the request parameters. And this one I want to do is using a map and uh, both are the string. For no matter query string and body, all the things passed to the server side are gonna be a string type. So for key and the value pair, all of them are the query uh, are the string type. That's my plan, okay? And then the other part I want to have is this part. This part. Uh, sorry. What's the color? This color. Why should we do that? Because these are the request URL. Later on, we have to map as uh, we have to map to the servlet, right? So we have to have some uh, value uh, or uh, fields or instance variable to hold this these two, uh, hold the, the URL. So here, uh, we I'm gonna do is using the path. Okay, path is gonna be the request URL. Uh, with, without the question, like uh, the value can, can be like a uh, hello or something, okay? Hello, like this, okay? And the others you can do more is like this one. This one. Uh, do I have, I, let's just use this one. Let, let's use a highlighter, which is this part. Headers. Do you, do you understand? Headers. Okay, headers will contain the host accept, and here I plan to using also using a map to hold the headers, and the one is a string, which is the key, which is the header name, and the value is also a string, which is a value. Keep it here. The value also map. And others, let me think about it. I think that's the all which is necessary uh, to implement a simple uh, web container. Okay, and uh, if there are something missing, we can do, we can add later. I think that's the all I can think about it now. Yes, so let's summarize for our request object this class. We designed to have those attributes, okay? Method, the request prompt, path, and the headers. And the request will hold the value, which is HTTP request method, get post. And the request prompt will hold the key value pair uh, with about the query string and the body for the post, okay? And because only post and put, put, but Put doesn't uh, isn't it the case in our uh, implementation? Okay, so we only care about a put, uh, post. Post might my may have a body, so uh, we will also handle and put in the map and a path. We are according to the path, we can map to particular servlet to uh, solve uh, to handle the request, and we will have a headers which has HTTP all the headers. Okay. And uh, that's our design. And the next uh, in next video, we are we were trying to implement the request object based on our design here. Okay. So now let's uh, stop this video and uh, see you in next one. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye.